My name is Jennifer, and thank you for spending a few minutes to get to know me. One of the most important things to know about me is how important my family is to me. And I don't just mean the family that I was born into, but also my extended family, which is my church family, members of the civic organizations I belong to. They are indeed my village and would be the child's village. So I grew up um, with four kids in the family. I am the baby, and I like to say I'm in charge, but really they let me be in charge. <laughs> uh, but I have two brothers and a sister who are great role models. In fact, I grew up largely with my family as being my role models. We were raised in a Christian home, and I consider myself a Christian. And really what that means is that I am not perfect at all. Um, I'm on a journey which is absolutely wonderful. It's those Christian values in that same type of home, that same type of love in the home that I would like to give to a child. In my spare time, uh, I actually really enjoy cooking. I find that I enjoy cooking more for family and friends than I do just for myself. It's gonna be good. There you go. You'll find a cake being baked in my oven at, at a minimum once a week, usually to take to somebody else so that I will not eat the whole thing. Outside of cooking, I enjoy scrapbooking. Um, I really enjoy walking. Usually wherever I live, I walk the neighborhood and I get to know my neighbors. Um, I like being outside in the garden a little bit. And right now my garden really is two big pots <laughs> in front of my house for the most part. But I've met um, my neighbors by being outside walking or being outside in the garden and really enjoy doing that also. I call my mother the, the best mother in the world and you know many of my friends actually think the same thing too. And she was just very kind, she was very thoughtful, she was very close to us. She listened and paid attention and that is exactly what I intend to do to really get to know the child and know their needs and wants and their quirks and you know what makes them laugh, where are they really ticklish? Are they more ticklish on their feet than they are on their back? <laughs> you know, what, what type of little toy do they like to have when they're taking a bath? And um, okay, they only like to wear blue on Thursdays for whatever reason. I mean, those, those little quirky things I think are important to get to know and, and get to get to know more about the personality of the child. I think Jennifer will be an excellent mother. She is very caring, um, affectionate. She's very detail-oriented. She is so loving. I can't even imagine um, the love that she would have for a child, knowing how she loves her friends. I've known her for about 28, 29 years now, and um, she always has had a nurturing spirit. Um, she always looks after her friends and looks after her family. She is definitely a nurturer by nature. Hello, can you hear me now? So I'm wondering, oh, I'm wondering, no. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure, let's try one more time. <laughs> it's such an amateur, oh my God. I forget those extra things. <laughs> So I am headed outside, prepared to face the snow as best as possible. So you may be wondering, you know, wow, she's single. Could she really handle having a child on her own? And I feel very confident and comfortable that he would not give me anything that I could not handle. You know, my parents raised me to be very independent, but also to lean on others, which is why, as I mentioned before, I've got an awesome village. It wouldn't be difficult for me to support her at all. Um, being a mother myself and having gone through the process and knowing the ups and downs, I'll be able to be there to help support her. She knows that she can call me at any time. My thing is, you know what? If you need to call me at midnight, if you need to call me whenever. Yeah, you know, I've been through it. I understand it, you know, and I know that she's so wonderful that she's gonna want to do things the right way. Basically, we're here, we can help her out if she needs to, babysit, babysit. any support that she needs, we'll be willing to do. I've seen her under fire and keep her cool. 
when everyone else around was like, okay, kind of panicking. But she always remained leveled. Just having that unconditional, unspoken, difficult to put into words kind of love that goes way into the core of who I am. Uh, and I cannot wait to experience that for sure. So thank you so much for your time today and getting to know a little bit more about my story. I hope to be hearing from you soon. Be well and God bless.